Hello, everybody, and, well, this is something I've wanted to get off of my to-do list for a long time. Um, I'm sure I don't have to tell any of you that, although the first game was as well, so maybe I'm setting myself up for disappointment, but whatever. This is, by many considered to be one of the greatest games of all time and who knows maybe I won't feel that way but I'm glad that I finally finally have gotten to it so let's begin okay yeah okay Half-Life 2 Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well, let's just say your hour has come again. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. Wake up and smell the ashes. Start on a train once more. can see where the face technology Welcome. Welcome to City 17. Yeah, this game was crazy <laughs> ahead of its time. To to I know, I can tell already. I thought so much of City 17 that I He's reading a script. <laughs> my administration here in the Citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. <laughs> And so, whether you are here to stay or passing through on right, your way to parts please. unknown, welcome to City 17. It's safer here. Oh, there's the slave dudes from the first game. Which I was made, it, it was confirmed by a friend for me. I did figure that, and I did suggest that when I played the first game. Oh. Hi. Um. Okay, he probably got a, one for a photo ID. Welcome to City Looping. 17. You have chosen, or been chosen, to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. Are you centers. the only ones on that train? I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration. Is she waiting for someone? In the Citadel so thoughtfully provided Overwatch by stopped our train in the woods and took my husband for questioning. Yeah. yeah. They said he'd be on the next home. train. And so, I'm not sure when that was. To stay Did their they be nice, though, letting me wait for him? Unknown, Welcome. Yeah, she's to definitely speaking in the safer here. safe way, knowing that people are watching her. Yeah, I can pick stuff up. Yeah. 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 Like, I know this is, even today, you don't get to pick up stuff like this a lot. You know. Like just freely, a shoe. Welcome, welcome to City Seventeen. You have chosen or been chosen to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. 
Yeah, and find his remaining. In the citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefit. They never leave. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to The trains are enigmatic, it seems. Dr. Breen again? I was hoping I'd seen the last of him in City 14. I wouldn't say that too loud. This is his base of operations. Which way? This way? Okay. Welcome. Welcome to City 17. You have chosen or been chosen to relocate to one of our finest. Must be a mistake. I got a standard relocation coupon just like everybody else. It's me, Gordon. Barney from Black Mesa. It is Barney. Sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. I've been working undercover with civil protection. I can't take too long, though. Okay, well, but wait a minute, though. Was Barney in... Because here's the thing. I heard... Oh, man. I feel like I didn't... Okay, I'm sorry. You guys are going to have to bear with me really quick. Barney in... Half Life One. I just need to make sense make sense of this. Like I just need to know. Yeah, was Barney in Half Life One? Background character. Okay, but I need to know where he was. You know, I just need to know where he was and like what did he say? Like, see if I even mentioned him at all. All right, Half Life. Very start tram ride, knocking on area three secure facility store. Oh, so we probably ride past him in the train. Okay. Although not seeing his presence when he's knocked unconscious, and then obviously blue shift. And okay, all right, all right. So very briefly, all right. Just need to make sure I wasn't missing anything big. You get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. Yes, Barney, what is it? I'm in the middle of a critical test. Sorry, Doc, but look who's here. Great Scott! Gordon Freeman! I expected more warning. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is around here somewhere. Because this is like 30 years after the first game, if I'm right. As long right. as he stays away from checkpoints, we should be okay. Listen, I gotta go, Doc. We're taking enough chances as it is. Very well. And, uh, Gordon, good to see you. Okay, Gordon. You're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. Oh, man, that's what I was afraid of. Get in here, Gordon, before you blow my cover. Pile up some stuff to get through that window and keep going till you're in the plaza. Okay. I'll meet up with you later. No way we don't get to hear a conversation or something. Huh, guess so. All right. Well, Okay, that was loud. Okay. Let me read a letter. Dear Dr. 
Hey, I mean, it's not worth it to me, sorry. I also detect some unspoken questions. Do our benefactors really know what's best for us? What gives them the right to make this kind of decision for a man? Will they ever deactivate the suppression field and let us breed again? Allow me to address the anxieties underlying your concerns, rather than try to answer every possible question you might have left unvoiced. First, let us consider the fact that for the first time ever, as a species, immortality is in our reach. This simple fact has far-reaching implications. It requires radical rethinking and revision of our genetic imperatives. It also requires planning and forethought that run in direct opposition to our neural precepts. I find it helpful at times like these to remind myself that our true enemy is instinct. Instinct was our mother when we were an infant species. Instinct coddled us and kept us safe in those hard scrabble years when we hardened our sticks and cooked our first meals above a meager fire and started at the shadows that leapt upon the cavern's walls. But inseparable from instinct is its dark twin, superstition. Instinct is inextricably bound to unreasoning impulses, and today we clearly see its true nature. Instinct has just become aware of its irrelevance, and like a cornered beast, it will not go down without a bloody fight. Instinct would inflict a fatal injury on our species. Instinct creates its own oppressors and bids us rise up against them. Instinct tells us that the unknown is a threat rather than an opportunity. Instinct slyly and covertly compels us away from change and progress. Instinct, therefore, must be expunged. It must be fought tooth and nail, beginning with the basis of human urges the urge to reproduce. We should thank our benefactors for giving us respite from this overpowering force. They have thrown a switch and exorcised our demons in a single stroke. They have given us the strength we never could have summoned to overcome this compulsion. They have given us purpose. They have turned our eyes toward the stars. Let me assure you that the suppressing field will be shut off on the day that we have mastered ourselves, the day we can prove we no longer need it. And that day of transformation, I have it on good authority, is close at hand. Fake smile, but he seemed less fake in that speech. And he did make some points that weren't... He's very convincing, but... You know trusting it may not get me very far so what's happening at this place you gotta be damn hungry to wait in line for this crap I don't know about you but I'm ready to join civil protection just to get a decent meal oh halfway decent voice acting <laughs> uh. let me be fit to suppress our reproductive cycle. Sincerely, a concerned citizen. Thank you for writing the concern. Of course, your question touches on one of the basic biological impulses, with all its associated hopes and fears for the future of the species. I also detect some unspoken questions. Do our benefactors really know what's best for us? What gives them the right to make this kind of decision for mankind? Will they ever deactivate the suppression field and let us breed again? Allow me to address the anxiety. 
Also, the immortality is in our reach is obviously something important, but, you know, I'm not quite sure what it is. I don't know what they mean. Oh, it's not this type of grass that just rotates when you turn, which is more common than you think, so that's nice. Alright, so we got our auto, quick, and then, alright. Is dead. This is how it always starts. First the building, then the whole block. They have no reason to come to our place. Don't worry, they'll find one. Huh? Yeah. Just trying to avoid them when I can. Yeah, I can already just from playing like Halo 2 or other stuff around this time. I mean, I can just think and like see how this would have been mind blowing for the time it came out. You know, it's not I'm, it's not something I'm doing, but I'm sure people would be picking up stuff all the time. You know, seeing how it's lying, seeing how it realistically, you know, just everything. No, I'll put it back. I'm not stealing a pot, but like... Okay, well... Alright, I'll just go the other way. <laughs> yeah, it seems best to not interact with them, like, at all. Very nice bathroom. <laughs> Questions to the roof. There's no time to lose. How? How do I get to the roof? Oh boy. Yep, all right, they're coming. Yep, I got in. Yep, uh-huh, going for the roof. Thanks, bro. You're a real one for holding that door. Yep, uh-huh, bro's getting gotten out. 
Ow, ow, ow. If I don't have that suit anymore, I'm just getting shot as a normal guy. Ah, uh, yep. Drone's following me. That is an armored vehicle. Yep, this is looking awesome for me, isn't it? Okay. Alright, alright. Okay, I'm moving. Yep, uh-huh, don't mind me. Nope, going. Yep, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, let me in, let me in. Thank you. Oh, got another achievement. I'm a malcontent. Oh, hi. Bye. Ah, Jesus, that surprised me. Oh, man. Well, I'm dead. I mean, I can't do anything about it, so, yeah. No, you don't. Hello, Dr. Alex. Freeman, I presume. I better hurry. The combine can be sorted. What's that a reference to? I know that's a reference to something the Dr. Oh, Dr. Livingston, I presume. That's what it is. Yeah. All right, I caught it. I caught it. I got it. But awake, but once they're up, you don't want to get in their way. Okay. Why did she just beat them all? Dr. She didn't shoot them. Be coming this way. I don't think it occurred to him that you might not have a map. Or anything, you know, that I'd just be running. <laughs> I'm Alex Vance. My father worked with you back in Black Mesa. <laughs> I'm sure you don't remember me, though. Man, a few words, aren't you? Yeah. Remember him from Black Mesa? Your old administrator. I don't, but I remember <laughs> okay, he, um... my dad started on Dr. Breen. Oh, he... Yeah? Okay. But he's, if you remember, a lot of dialogue in Blue Shift in the beginning of Half-Life 1, and what... Maybe there was some dialogue about it in Opposing Force, but you hear scientists say, it's a line they can say, I told the administrator that this would happen. And so now he's leader of City 17. Through here. Funny, you showing up on this day in particular. Well, I mean, it wasn't in my control, so I had to take that up with G-Man. We've been helping people escape the city on it's foot. Frickin' what I would do, honestly. A dangerous route to my father's lab through the old canals. Today we're finally on the verge of having a better way. Of what? Getting people out? Here, let me buy you a drink. So a lambda. Oh, and by the way, nice to finally meet you. Okay. Where did she get to? Lamar! Come out of there! Uh-oh, everything all right, Dr. Kleiner? Oh, uh, hello, Alex. Well, uh, almost all right. Lamar has gotten out of her crate again. If I didn't know better, I'd suspect Barney of trapping and... My goodness. Gordon Freeman. It really is you, isn't it? Indeed. I found him wandering around outside. Yep. Bit of a troublemaker, isn't Just doing my thing. We owe a great deal to Dr. Freeman, even if trouble does tend to follow in his wake. I must say, Gordon, you come at a very opportune time. Alex has just installed the final piece for our resurrected teleport. I can't take any credit for the breakthrough, Doctor. Nonsense. Your talents surpass your loveliness. <laughs> Let's just see if this thing works, okay? Well, is he here? Yep. There Hi, Barney. Go. I just finished playing as you, like, less than an hour ago. We can't keep him here long, Doc. It'll jeopardize everything we've worked for. Worry, Into the trash can. With me. Uh, that's right, Barney. This is a red-letter day. We'll inaugurate the new teleport with a double transmission. You mean it's working? For real this time? Because I still have nightmares about that cat. No, no. There's nothing to be nervous about. What cat? We've made major <laughs> strides since then. Major strides. What cat? Doc, since he's not taking the streets, you might as well get him out of his civvies. What? 
Oh dear, you're right. I almost forgot. Barney, I'll give you. Hey, you get me in the suit, I maybe. Get back on my shift, but okay. Back on your blue shit. All right, I'm sorry. I apologize. Ah, uh, ah, an old friend. Dang, it's so they're so big in this game. Lamar, there you are. I thought you got rid of that test. Hi, Lamar. Never fear, Gordon. She's debeaked and completely. It's hot. okay. Yeah, she is debeaked. The worst debeaked. you might do is attempt to couple with your head, fruitlessly. Get that thing away from me. Yeah, my pet. Hop up. Oh my God. No, not up there. That actually no, would be really no. funny. Just right in the Those are quite fragile. Oh, fie. It'll be another week before I can coax her out of there. Yeah, longer if we're lucky. <laughs> Barney, you're not an animal. Um, I'm pretty sure me and Barney might actually have PTSD surrounding those things, well, so I think you could give Barney some slack. Oh, yeah, there's the valve theme. HEV suit still fits you like a glove. At least the glove parts do. I've made a few modifications, but I'll just acquaint you with the essentials. Now let's see. The Mark V hazardous environment uh, uh, for comfort and utility. Oh dear. Doc, we don't have time for this. At least get that suit too stuffed. Yeah, tell me what it does. There's a charger on the wall. Oh, wow, that's a lot fancier. I guess it has been a couple decades. To draw power from combine energy outlets, which are plentiful wherever they patrol. Very resentful they. Oh, double lock. Okay, smart. Some nice looking water. Oh. Well, come on, Doctor. Our boy Barney. I feel a much stronger attachment to him since I just played as him, like less than an hour ago. Gordon, why don't you position yourself near the panel over there and wait for my word? Uh. Are you there? Yes, yes, Eli. Bit of a hold up on this end. You'll never guess who found his way into our lab this morning. Hi. Uh, that's not who I think it is. Indeed it is. And it's our intention to send him packing straight away in the company of your lovely daughter. Are you ready for us, Dad? We're all set on this end. Then let's do it. Let's see. The massless field flux should self-limit and I've clamped the manifold parameters to his LG Orbifold. No Conditions could hardly be more ideal. That's what you said last time. <gasps> Yeah, exactly. One. So finished. Don't worry, I got it. You gonna let Gordon throw the switch? Gordon, go right ahead. Yeah, this one. All right. Very good. I like the resistance on it. Surely she'll be fine. Good. Well, did it work? See for yourself. Hey, Doc. Oh, thank goodness. My relief is almost out. So about that cat. Well, I can't take all the credit, Doctor. Uh, yeah. Thanks. I was I was very useful. Right, Speak to you again in a few moments. Good job, Gordon. Throwing that switch and all. I can see. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> really pays for itself. Thanks, right, Barney. Your turn. Gee, thanks. Gordon, as soon as you're in position, we'll send you to Eli. And not a moment too soon. Uh-huh. Our boy Barney is incredibly intelligent, all right? Just like us. Next. Initialize in three, two, one. Uh, Barney, if you'll be so kind. Good luck out there, Gordon. Yup. Yes, indeed. We're ready to project you, Gordon. Bon voyage, and best of luck in your future endeavors. Send me away, Barney! I wish you luck! What the hell? What is it? It's your head. Get head out! 
Is Lamar with him? Oh my god. I'm all but certain it was Gordon Freeman. Oh, they know we're back. Oh, one of the fish things. He didn't come through. Then where is he? I'm behind you. Behind you. Shut it down. Shut it down. <laughs> you must get out of here. Run! Get down out of sight. I'll come find you. Alright, Barney, you're my boy. I trust you. We believe in Barney, alright? He's our guy. Barney would never let us down. Oh, you don't see me. Um, hold up, you don't see me. Stop, hold up. Um, uh, you don't see me. Guys, stop following me. You don't see me. Guys, kindly if you could leave me alone. Gordon, the Citadel's on full alert. I've never seen it lit up like that. Oh boy! Get out of City 17 as fast as you can, Gordon. Take the old canals, right? They'll get you to Eli's lab. It's it's a dangerous route, but there's a whole network of refugees, and they'll help you if they can. I'd come with you, but I gotta look after Dr. Kleiner. Yep, it's all right, Barney. Oh, you good? I forget, Watch the scientists. I think you dropped this back in Black Mesa. Good luck out there, buddy. You're gonna need it. Oh, don't worry. You just got me equipped, dog. We all good. Yes, sir. Yup, that music hitting, too. And the flashlight. What's up, dog? What's up, dog? Huh? Ah, there wouldn't happen to be a gun somewhere, would there? Surely not in these boxes. Oh, yep, don't worry, you can go through. The very motionless and off alignment train. But they tried their best. Oh, hi. Yup, uh huh. Parkour! Alright, 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 alright. Battery? Nope, that was health. It's alright. Just get me through here. Woo! Ah, the music stopped. Well, that's health. Okay. Well, let's consider. Nah, we can go a bit further. We can go a bit further. Also, root canal. Come here. Oh. All right. Well, uh, just know I tried my best, lady. Okay, all right, all right. At least she's concerned. Appreciate it. All right, I'll get going. Nope, that does not work. Yeah, I gotta say. Yeah, anyways, uh. All right, same. Oh, hey. Surely you would come down here, right?
That's where that death sound effect comes from. I heard that all the time in frickin' good old Russian Badgers videos. Just pick this up so lightly. Makes you curious. What happens? Wow. Uh, how about we save here really quick? Cause uh, that is not very nice if something bad happens. Well, ladies and gents. Nope. Nope. They're all good. Also, that is not what I want. Um, jumping is interesting in this game. It's very horizontal, which I mean is realistic, but you know. <laughs> Alright, man. Hey, don't mind me. I heard a grenade. Hi! Kindly screw off. You know what? Sure, we'll just do it for funsies. I did not... I didn't miss that twice. That's uh, your screen. Ammo. Alright, guys. Why would you stay near that? Just to... Just a question. Like, why would you stay near those? Oh, okay. Some ammo and some stuff. Alright, you guys are still being very insistent. They fear the boy, Gordon Freeman. They ain't ready for us. Yep, Lambda Locator too. Alright. Ah! Hi, don't mind me. Too fast. Ah! Why don't you come a bit closer? Why don't you come? Yep, I was gonna say, this must all be very second nature to Gordon at this point. Ah, oh, they're gonna come up, aren't they? Well, keep moving. Yep, oh boy. Okay, I cannot water. Oh, all right. Swimming through these very clear canals. <laughs> yeah. This is the Freeman, the Combine's Reckoning. The Freeman. Look, we're just a lookout for the Underground Railroad. Main station's right around the corner. They'll get you started on the right foot. Okay. Meanwhile, let my Vortigaunt friend here give you a jolt to get you going. Oh, that's nice. That's cool. Thank you. Can't afford to get noticed. Civil protection catches you down here. It's bad news for the whole railroad. We serve the same history. Attention. Hit the road, Jack. All right. 
Yes, they took Underground Railroad pretty seriously with the train car and all. Oh, yeah. Um. Yeah, um. Okay. Stayed. Okay. You're gonna. Oh! They've been expanded upon a tad. I remember. I remember in Opposing Force it said he could not. They couldn't succeed in getting it to eat something inorganic. Oh, so it's temporarily, but it said it couldn't get it to eat something inorganic, so what about that skull? Yeah, okay. So they were right. Yeah, I just want to see what it looks like. Does it have like a still dead reaction? No. Alright. Toy it folds. Pistol is nice and accurate. There's something to be said about that. Yeah, now we have fancy combine pistol instead of Glock. Also, yeah, we just screwed over our whole underground thing. Also, crosshair when you're on the mounted gun. Appreciate it. Yeah, you can hear them, like, calling for backup, though. Yep, got the feeling that would be good. Die! Like. Alright. Okay, well, let's see where I actually have to go. Like this is our first I don't know where to go in this game. Hmm. Are we supposed to go over here? This is all very low res in here. Um, that's some Half-Life 1 textures right there. Okay, well, yep. My achievement progress, I am aware of it, I see it. Evidence 
Is it not gonna... I've been getting progress whenever I see one of those. It's not giving it to me now. Okay, well let me go on that way. It's actually really annoying me that that's not giving me progress, but okay. I guess I'm just not gonna get it. Well, how about this? At this point, we've gotten introduced to new settings, characters, and combat, so... Whew, I'm willing to call that our first episode. So, I mean... Here we go, everybody. I'm enjoying it already, so... See ya! Awkward pause before I actually stop recording.